you, Alejandro, for including me in your summit. I'm so happy you are focusing on the digital divide, not only today, but every day. Broadband has never been more important or more relevant to our national dialogue. Well over half of Hispanic Americans report broadband being more important to their lives today. Mine too. The pandemic has showcased that access to broadband is critical. Industry, community groups, and policymakers must work together to ensure all Americans are connected. HTTP has been a powerful ally and voice in this fight. The wireless industry is committed to the task as well. I know this because of what I have seen over the past six months. Like many of you, I went home on March 13th. We closed CTIA for two weeks. Two weeks! Fast forward a lot more than that, and our lives have fundamentally changed. One constant, our smartphones. Now, more than ever, our smartphone is our lifeline, keeping us connected with family, work, school, and even our doctors. I'm proud we were ready when America needed us. We saw a lot of other industries struggle. Wireless hasn't missed a beat. Two stats jump out at me. One, U.S. wireless speeds actually increased during COVID. And the second, which really makes the first even more amazing, we effectively saw a year's worth of growth, 20 plus percent overnight. Across the globe, many of our peers struggle. Mobile speeds plummeted. China, down 40%. Europe, down roughly 30%. We were able to endure because the U.S. industry builds for tomorrow every day. We invested $29 billion last year, $100 billion in the last four, all to improve your service and unlock the power of 5G. That is the positive story of COVID. Keeping 48 million Hispanics with smartphones connected is rewarding. I take special pride in the 15 million Hispanic Americans who are smartphone only. We are their broadband connection, as Hispanics are almost two times more likely to have no home broadband. And for the roughly 12 million Hispanics without any broadband today, we can help. As you have powerfully pointed out, the digital divide has never been more stark. COVID has magnified the divide in opportunities between those connected and unconnected. As a nation, we must do more to address affordability, access, and other adoption challenges. There is no silver bullet. We need to work together to solve rural and urban coverage to ensure government programs address affordability, and to solve the digital literacy and device access challenges we have today. Today, I wanna to focus on kids. Remote learning is hard, hard on teachers, parents, and most importantly, kids. It is beyond hard and honestly, beyond unfair for those kids left without a broadband connection today. I've been blown away by the response of the wireless industry trying to meet the needs of kids. In the spring, our operators jumped into action. A wireless hotspot has proven to be the fastest and most effective way to get kids online. Verizon partnered with the LA Unified School District and, in the words of the state superintendent, helped close the digital divide in the country's second largest school district AT&T provides 60 days of free service for qualifying schools and recently delivered 11,000 hotspots in San Jose alone. Most recently, T-Mobile announced its 10 million project, which will provide free service and a free device to 10 million eligible households. All remarkable. But the commitment didn't end there. We helped feed hungry kids and we invested in new curriculum and resources. Each day, a new problem revealed itself and the US wireless industry was ready to do its part to help. At CTIA, we created the Connected Kids Initiative to link school districts with providers in their community ready to help. 
Our collective efforts have provided new connectivity for over 2 million kids across the country. They are online right now because of the proactive efforts of the U.S. wireless industry. Wireless solutions have become the go-to answer for school leaders seeking an easy-to-use option for families. We have proven crucial to the most at-risk kids, as wired solutions can be a poor fit for students without a permanent home. Chicago identified the pressing need for wireless solutions to help 12,000 homeless kids keep learning this fall. We are honored to help. Federal CARES Act funding continues to help schools chip away at the divide. Oklahoma will distribute 50,000 hotspots. South Carolina announced 100,000 more. Congress can help too with dedicated FCC hotspot funding. Together, we should rightfully celebrate the progress we have made. We are making a difference. But we also can't rest. The job is not done and broadband alone cannot close the opportunity gap. Every picture of a kid doing homework outside McDonald's is a poignant reminder of that. I encourage school districts and communities to reach out. Reach out to see if CARES funding is available to help bridge the gap. Use the Connected Kids portal to seek help. The same collaborative approach applies equally to all of our nation's digital divide challenges. We must be practical and resourceful. We must be partners. We can't let another year pass without reducing the number of Americans without connectivity. And this goes beyond a pandemic. All Americans need to benefit from the 5G economy we are building right now. It is critical to our nation's recovery. Tomorrow's jobs and opportunities must be available to all. I want to thank HTTP for shining a spotlight on this issue and driving us all towards solutions. Yeah.